Good morning, friends. The last that we left you off at, we were hanging out with friends down at the Bay of Conception. We officially left there yesterday, and we are just south of Loretto on a beach called Huncalito. Great little quiet spot. I really like it here, but we are going to move on today, and we are going to head up to La Paz, or head down to La Paz. And um, this is La Paz is one of our favorite towns, our favorite city in Baja. And um, it's where we spent a lot of time the last time we were here with our friends Scott and Melissa and their boys. And that's who we are with now. And that's what we are going to go do. So we're going to stock up at Walmart in La Paz and then spend the night at a campground called Maranatha. It's just outside of La Paz. And then we are going to uh, drive on over to our favorite beach in La Paz to camp at. Um, hopefully we're hoping that it is not crowded there we will see when we get there and we will keep you up to date but first before we leave let me show you Huncalito I don't know what Lindsay just told you about Huncalito Beach, but uh, we're gonna have to do a little four wheel driving. So, uh, you ready to hit the switch, babe? Yeah, hit the switch. Uh, beep. It's right there, right? The little silver button? Uh, no, don't hit that switch. <laughs> four, -wheel, oh. four wheel drive high, four wheel drive four -wheel low. Four wheel drive. See what we gotta go there it over. Goes. Right there. There's some sandy spots here, and we have to go up. <laughs> so, we went down it earlier, and that wasn't too bad. Just our friends just made it through, but they have a truck with four-wheel drive. <laughs> All right, let's do this. We shouldn't really need four-wheel drive now that I've said that out loud. Just open up Got it. the bottom of the back. We are up. Yeah, we're doing this. The back is not hitting it. Woo! <laughs> Oh, we're kind of slipping. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh! <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Woo! That's what happens when you drive an old man camper and you go off roading a little bit. <laughs> I am the old man driving the old man camper. We got our old train tires. Yep, that's going to do, do it. This. How was yeah. it, Heavy? <laughs> Looking all pretty. We got a nice drive ahead of us. A good four hours, give or take, a couple stops along the way. Uh, literally, in Constitution, we are going to stop no fewer than 27 times at stop signs. Yeah. Completely and fully stop. That's what that town is known for. And they're also known for what, babe? For birria. Birria. So we might get some birria tacos. All right. So just south of Loreto is one of the most beautiful mountain passes in all of Baja. It's incredibly beautiful and uh, we're going to go hit that right now. Everything's still in there. Woo! Double check. Mm 
You leaving me? Yeah. So we are in the city of Constitucion and I probably shouldn't be talking into the camera, but that's okay because we're stopping every 50 feet or so for a stop sign. This is the town where you need to stop every 50 feet or so at every single stop sign. Come to a complete stop if you do come through here. It is notorious for uh, gringos getting tickets and our RV stands out, definitely gringo. So we are going to stop at every stop sign completely and fully and then we're going to go forward we're also lindsay has been told there is some great birria here if you may recall we had some delicious birria when we first got into baja and in guerrero negro we're going to try to find this place hopefully uh shortly and uh, that is la ciudad de constitucion so we struck out with birria, but we got some pork tacos, some carnitas, and they look pretty good. So we can go ahead and get to that. Also cooking chicharrones and a big vat of oil, kind of like uh, up in Sinclair's the jungle. Once you see how it's made, you may not want to eat chicharrones anymore, but they're still delicious. What's up, Buck? How you doing, buddy? Once you leave Ciudad Constitution, it is pretty boring, except it's still beautiful. We love being in Baja. Cactus everywhere, desert. It's obviously desert. Um, but between Loreto, once you drop out of the mountains and you get to Constitution, it's pretty much the same, mostly flattish scenery. And then you come down off the hills and uh, you drop into La Paz. You can see it in the distance. And you see the water, the bay, there's two bays for La Paz. And uh, that just gets us excited because that means we are very, very close to arriving in the city of peace, La Paz. Huckleberry's so excited, he's uh, getting up and doing something. Where are you going, buddy? Everest is so excited. She's just laying there on the couch. We are very, very close, within about 20 minutes or so, getting to our ultimate destination tonight, which is La Maranatha Campground in La Paz. It's actually just outside of La Paz on the north end. It's the only campground in the city or around the city. So if you're planning on coming down to uh, La Paz and camping at an actual campground, it's La Maranatha. It's 25 bucks a night, 500 pesos for full hookups or 300 pesos for dry camping. We're just gonna dry camp. We're pretty well stocked up and we have our solar kicking butt these days, so we don't need the power. And uh, we'll run around town, maybe later today, maybe tomorrow, get what we need and then we'll head out to the beaches. But not to get ahead of ourselves, we gotta pull up into La Marinata first, which is just a couple short minutes away. So crazy, and one of the reasons why. Chill, Evie. No, Evie, stay. <laughs> crazy, and one of the reasons why we love Baja so much is it's it's small, and friends that we've made down here are previously that we run into. So our friends Bobby and Mary are here at the campground that we just pulled into. 
We knew that we were that they were somewhere down here in southern Baja, but we didn't know that they were gonna be here. So it's pretty cool how they are in their van. <laughs> <laughs> stay, stay. So, small world, pretty awesome. Good to run into them here. So we'll probably get to hang out with them tonight. <laughs> well, we are in, we are getting a little bit settled in um, to the spot in La Maranatha. We're actually, we're dry camping in the very, very back. It is so, so packed here. Um, talked with the owners and February is the busy season. So if you're coming down here in February, you need to get here in de November, December um, because February is like completely booked out. She said a lot of bigger class A's this year and people staying for long periods of time. So not complaining, just explaining that Baja is packed for those negative comments I get about complaining. We're not complaining, this is just, um, it is not a normal year for Baja and maybe next year will be a little bit different. Maybe things will mellow out, but February is definitely the crazy busy time here in La Paz. There's only one campground. So if you are interested in investing in a campground, contact me, hello at calledtowander.com. I have zero dollars, but I got a lot of great ideas and I will help you make a fortune here in La Paz because there's only one campground they probably packed in 100, 120. Oh, this campground is a big, it's big. And so, it's full. And it's 25 bucks a night. So you do the math on that. And we're talking some serious cash. And I'll show you a great property. Actually, I'm not going to show it on video. But <laughs> if you're interested, we can fly back down here later. And I'll show you a great property on the other side of town, which would be ideal because it's closer to the beaches. You will make a killing because there is only one campground here in the wonderful city of La Paz. Yeah. So... We're here, we're settled in. We're gonna make some, what What do we say? Hamburger we're helper? We're make our own hamburger helper. We've got hamburger and we've got some goat cheese mac and cheese. So we're just gonna throw yep. it together. Scott so and Melissa are off easy. running errands or getting some drinking water for us. And tomorrow's gonna be errand day. So we're just gonna, I guess, take a deep breath and settle in. It's been five hours on the road with a couple stops. The drive from Huncolito was only three and a half hours, a little over that per google and we took about five because we stopped for lunch and stopped for Stop a couple for of breaks, breaks yeah for the dogs Dog and everything breaks. too so anyway we're we're kind of tired so I'm we're gonna go ahead and call it huh i'm worn out you are worn out <laughs> so i don't know that this is an episode or not you know we don't really know <laughs> until we know so we'll close out and say we'll see you when we see you and that's gonna be right now <laughs>